Good afternoon. Welcome to our final lesson for the month of April with the key as our motif. I'm going to be brief today because I do have my dog here in the studio with me and she's not always quiet for filming. So I will get us started and then I can mute that potentially noisy audio. I thought maybe that I'd use the key that I had carved and that you saw in previous videos, but I don't want to get stuck on using that specific key as a motif and having that kind of be a crutch. So instead I thought I would take some inspiration from Hecate, the Greek goddess of the crossroads, of transitions, of magic, of um, liminal spaces, of so many things. Uh, I mentioned her briefly in my blog post, but there is a wealth of information on her online, including some fabulous books devoted to her. Uh, I can post some links in the comments below. So this is a laser print image that I've just prepped with packing tape so that I can submerge this and um, erode the paper off and have this transparent image to layer into the page. Uh, what I was really feeling was holding the key to the future, holding the key to potential, and one of Hecate's symbols not only is the key but is the torch. And so finding that kind of illumination to see where the way forward to see clearly where your path forward may be going. Um, and so I did source this image online. It's got a little watermark on it. Again, I'm using this in my personal use and not monetizing this in any way. So I'm going to be collaging this in and then working over it and around it. I think that the Hecate might go here, but that she might be, uh, since she'll be transparent, whatever's underneath is going to show through. Um, my original thought was to paint a key dangling from the bottom of this lantern, connecting that kind of potential and unlocking and growth symbolism of the key with that illumination and that kind of lighting the way forward. So that's, I think, all I need to say to you right now. So um, hopefully I can find some... YouTube music that'll be copyright free, that'll go well with this. But I'm gonna start collaging. I've got some scraps of text here. Um, I might do some dry brush. I did paint the image out in a very pale, um, I tried it black and white and that was a little too stark. And so then I reduced the saturation of the color quite a bit so that it's almost a little bit sepia with some hints of a, of a reddish color. So that will probably inspire my color palette for the page as well. Okay, I am getting over a cold and I'm a little stuffy, so I'm going to stop talking now and let's just get this page started.
So this is the reverse side of the Hecate image that I covered with packing tape. And I just simply have water in that spray bottle. When the water saturates the paper, it becomes a bit more transparent and you can see the image as you were rubbing the paper off. It is pretty resilient. Uh, the tape is pretty sturdy and holds on to the toner or the laser printer ink very well. Uh, you still want to be careful because you don't want to scratch off your image. But this is a very clean method of doing a transfer because all of the paper really does come off the tape. So I'm just rubbing the paper off um, and then gonna. it's as simple as that, just adding it to the page. I think that's done. In a lot of ways, the idea kind of came to me when I decided that I wanted to use the lantern image. But as you can see here, even in this classic, classical kind of Hecate image, she's carrying that torch. Um, yeah, I think that's done. The key is very subtle, um, but that's okay because I know it's there and uh, I wasn't originally planning on writing my intentions in that kind of lantern light, but then at the time it was the perfect thing to do. So that was definitely a strike of intuition that I went with and I'm pleased with because we do get some of the text reading through. Um, some of it even is legible and I'm fine with kind of sharing that. So that is my final key page. Uh, definitely kind of taking the inspiration and going to a different place with it but I mean, that's what these themes are for me. They're a starting point. And wherever that path takes me, whatever rabbit hole I go down, then I'm ready and willing. So stay tuned for the next week's video when we'll start with the theme for March. And the theme for March, I will let you know, is going to be eyes. Whether it's a classic kind of graphic eye like in the hand of Fatima or whether it is just um, eyes in, in a face it collaged into a piece, we'll see where that takes me. So as always, you can do all the YouTube things if you are so inclined. Subscribe to the channel, uh, like this video, and definitely check out the blog post about keys and the future upcoming blog post about eyes. So um, I will see you around on the socials and look for a new video next week.